the show. Talk to you soon. We were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. Thought we had sealed away the plague for eternity. But now, it has returned. And this time, with a fallen army. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. Prove yourself worthy. And the Iron Lords will rise again. Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. I know what you're thinking right now. We get a Gjallarhorn? <laughs> you're bringing the Gjallarhorn back. We are. We're bringing it back. <sighs> on behalf of a grateful Guardian Nation, <laughs> I thank you. Come on, bring it in. Thank you so much. But do I have to pre-order to get my Gjallarhorn? So uh, everybody can get Gallahorn. Uh, everybody, there'll a, okay. There'll be a, a brand new quest that players can embark on. Every player of Rise of Iron can get a yep. Gallahorn mm -hmm. as a reward for completing a quest. Correct. But if I pre-order it... You get the exclusive uh, uh, Iron Gallahorn version. Comes in black. It does. Yep. All right. With that hot button question out of the way, uh, let me introduce you to our audience. And uh, check out our audience today. Uh, chat is completely on fire right now. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Twitch Master Scott to go into sub-only mode so that I can try to read something from this <laughs> raging waterfall of enthusiasm. Uh, these people have all gathered together to meet 
you guys to meet the, the creative leaders who are leading a brave team of Bungie developers who are creating Rise of Iron, uh, bringing a new adventure to life for you to experience and to embark upon. And they are game director Christopher Barrett. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome back to our Twitch set. Yes, it's been a little while. It has been a little while. And uh, executive producer Scott Taylor. How's it going, Deej? This I am thrilled to have you here. Really, really exciting. Uh... For you. For me personally, I'm yes. Sure. This, this, is, is this is great. For me personally. I'm, I'm uh, glad we could make this happen for sincerely, you. Sincerely, though, these are my favorite moments at Bungie where we can introduce the people who make these games to the people who play these games and uh, help them understand how much you know, enthusiasm and passion that you invest into these projects uh, because they do the same thing on their end. So um, we haven't had you back on Twitch since uh, you and I stood up in our theater to uh, reveal uh, House of Wolves. It's true, yeah. And that was a great moment for the Destiny community, I thought. I felt like you, two, you guys, in, in creating House of Wolves, gave the Guardians uh, a lot of the things that they wanted and also gave our community a great moment with a reveal stream like this where they could all sort of converge in one place and fully understand that the best answer to the question, are people still playing that game, is right. hell yeah. And you've leveled up since then. You were standing up. Now you have a, like a studio, yes. like a well, show. show. Because of your willingness to share. You're and, so uh, fancy. Yeah, and yeah. show up and, and share some awesome stuff. We have our own permanent home now. So we're going to use that today to uh, talk about what you're working on now. Mm -hmm. uh, the House of Wolves is back with something called Rise of Iron. What is it with uh, you guys and wolves, by the way? <laughs> yeah, as you can see from my shirt, we, uh, we certainly uh, love wolves. Yeah, uh, you're kicking it old school. you got some 8-bit wolves. Yep. Yeah, we should, uh, we should make that shirt available in the Bungie store. Can we do that? Let's plug. All right, let's yeah, move on. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's pretend that we're at a cocktail party full of Destiny fans. Uh, these things do exist. Sure. Okay. And, uh, and I was uh, living in a cave, and I didn't know that this was coming. And uh, I said, hey, I love Destiny. Uh, what's, what's coming up? What are you guys working on? You would say what about Rise of Iron? So uh, Rise of Iron is the next great uh, adventure in the Destiny universe. Um, it's going to have, uh, uh, you know, it's a large expansion. It's okay. going to have all the stuff players have come to love from uh, these, uh, you know, our releases. It's going to have a new story campaign. It's going to have new characters, new missions, new, uh, new PvP maps, you know, okay. gear, weapons, all that stuff. So it's going to be a uh, yeah, large expansion. And when do I get it? Uh, so as you saw in the trailer, it's September 20th. Yeah. Uh, and it comes out for the PS4 and the Xbox One. Our first release on Next Gen only. That is correct. Interesting. Yes. So uh, those of you Guardians who are on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 will have plenty to say about how we can uh, upgrade your hardware and bring you along on this adventure. But for now, uh, let's dig a little bit deeper into what we mean by a large expansion. So uh, I want to take us through this just line by line. Uh, first and foremost, uh, especially in the minds of many of our players, mm -hmm. we're telling a new story. There's a new campaign. So what can we find in that? Right. So uh, yeah. Um, so you've got uh, the the story of the Iron Lord. Yeah. Um, Everyone, welcome Twitch Master Scott to the set. Just doing a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, so we have the <laughs> uh, brand new cinematic story. We have new uh, CG cinematics, new in-game cinematics, uh, a, a big campaign, uh, new missions, new story missions. Mm -hmm. um, we have a bu whole bunch of new quests, uh, end-game quests, that kind of stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're taking us to some new places. Right. Places we've never been before. Yeah, so we have a, a place called the Plague Lands, which okay. is uh, a new zone, which is uh, off, from, uh, off from the Cosmodrome, okay. uh, uh, inside old Russia. So it's this forbidden, dangerous place that Guardians uh, haven't right. been able to go for uh, centuries that has been locked off uh, by, uh, by the Vanguard, by the, by the Iron Lords long ago. Um, so get, you'll get to explore that. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also Fellwinter Peak, as you uh, uh, may uh, know the, the name Fellwinter from Fellwinter's Lie. Oh, yes, the dreaded shotgun. <laughs> yep, a lot of people have, uh, have uh, seen the end of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Brought then, to an end by that. <laughs> and then the, uh, the wall, uh, which is where uh, uh, players first began their journey uh, long ago when they first uh, uh, began Destiny. Uh, you'll get to go back. Uh, it's changed, uh, which you'll see in, in a moment. It's changed significantly. You'll get to run uh, inside the wall, on top of the wall. Okay. Um, beyond the wall. Beyond the wall. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is what defines the Destiny player experience for so many people in our community. I'm sure so many people uh, in, in our raging chat room right now. The cooperative experiences that yeah. bring Guardians together as new teammates and old friends. Talk to us about, well, 
if we if we go back into the past again, when we were talking to players about House of Wolves, mm -hmm. one of the things we had to tell them is that there is no raid. What? But in, uh, this is true. No. There is. It's, we've covered it's that story extensively. Okay. Right. <laughs> However, in Rise of Iron, go ahead. There is definitely a raid in Rise of Iron. That's easier. This is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yes, a new raid, which uh, you know, obviously, I can't. No, tell you much no, about. no, no spoilers. Raids are mysteries. That yeah, entire yeah. team would come downstairs right now and, and just the, beat the crap the out of us. The door's locked, though, right? Yeah, no, I'm not yeah. Gonna, just lock the door and talk about the raid. Uh, but I'm not going to talk no, about it. No. But, uh, but it's very exciting, very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, new strikes and a uh, new strike and uh, some returning favorites. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring back some favorites and thematically tie them to, to this. To the story that you're telling now. Cool. Yeah, and, and then, uh, of course, with the new zone, the Plague Lands, we'll make that come alive like any other place in Destiny. Yeah. And so we have new patrols and new uh, public events and secrets to find. Mm -hmm. Nice. And experiences we can share with Guardians that we've never even met before. Yes. So, you know, the living social world of Destiny. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and as we saw in the trailer uh, with Lord Saladin, as a central figure in this new story that you're telling, you've yeah. got to think the Crucible is going to weigh pretty heavily you in the do. player experience. There's a, there's a lot to talk about the Crucible. Actually, we're going to uh, uh, get more details about that later because it's a big conversation, lots to say. Yeah. Uh, but I can say there's new maps. Uh, there's an incredible new mode, which I played yesterday and got people looking at me a lot as I yelled very loudly. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> and the 12 people in the room there are going to laugh knowingly because I was yelling very loudly. Uh, and new features, which we'll talk about later this summer. Like you said, yes, we will have uh, all the right conversations with uh, you know, players of the game and other people in the studio who have worked on those things. So today begins a very long conversation about Rise of Iron. Uh, there's plenty of time between now and September 20th to unpack all of these things to a greater degree. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell me uh, right now, uh, how much does all of this cost me? All uh, right, so $30, uh, September 20th, Xbox One, PS4. So. Thirty dollars U.S. Uh, mm -hmm. Consult your exchange rate calculators appropriately. Uh, so thirty dollars is the price for all of this. Yes. Now that we've got uh, all of the pieces on the board, let's uh, let's clear that board and talk more about the heart and soul of this new experience that you're creating. Talk to me as creators about your inspirations uh, for you know the new corners that you're sending us into and, and the stories that you'll tell when we get there. Sure. So. Uh Whenever we uh, begin a new, uh, a new game or uh, uh, define a new destination, uh, what we like to do is we create a, a postcard image is what we call it. And so that's, uh, this is the postcard image uh, that we came up with for uh, Rise of Iron. So uh, what that does is it tries to encapsulate all the main themes, the, the, uh, the, the elements of that particular release in one image and kind of capture the feeling we want. Uh, so we have here uh, Lord Saladin, uh, his back to the camera, uh, looking longingly uh, past the, uh, the broken wall in the Cosmodrome where players first began their journey. Uh, his uh, tattered cloak uh, flapping in the wind with the Iron Lord mm -hmm. sigil on the back. Uh, he is uh, so awesome, he actually gets to break the, uh, the fashion boundaries and wear a, <laughs> a, a, a cloak in, yeah, sure. in the World of Destiny, even though he is a Guardian. Yeah. I mean, a Titan. A titan. So, um, so, yeah, so you have the, the Cosmodrome wall. Um, the Cosmodrome has changed uh, significantly, as you can see uh, in this image. Uh, the, the weather has come in. It's a much darker, darker tone. Um, He's and, flanked uh, by feral beasts. Of course, yes, wolves. And, uh, and uh, yeah, what's beyond the wall? What happened to the wall? Uh, and, uh, you know, what's, what's lurking there is something that players will uh, mm -hmm. find out in uh, their adventures. Okay. And uh, the other thing they'll find out, and this is uh, especially intriguing for me as somebody who has played a lot of Iron Banner, you're going to delve into the backstory of those same Iron Lords. And uh, so talk to me about this setting and uh, how that's going to satisfy that experience. Yeah, so um, uh, this is Fellwinter Peak, which we talked about uh, a moment ago. So this is where the uh, Iron Lords once uh, held watch over old Russia and sort of protected humanity. Um, so this is the, uh, the Iron Temple. And uh, uh, back uh, hundreds of years ago is when they were, you know, when they were using this outpost. And now it's uh, uh, since all the chaos has happened and uh, the, 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 the big battle that happened long ago, now uh, Saladin is the, the last of the Iron Lords. And so players will have to uh, uh, journey back to uh, Felwinter Peak and uh, take it back uh, awesome. to begin their adventure. So this is uh, an image from the trailer, uh, an enormous construct. You can see a tiny, tiny little guardian uh, walking along that bridge to enter that space and, and confront whatever horrors are contained within. Uh, but this 
throws back to uh, you know the backstory that, yeah. that was basically we scratched the surface of in the trailer, where the Iron Lords confronted an ancient evil and sacrificed themselves to contain that. Yeah, the central mystery of the of the game is you know, what happened, and then now something's back. Uh, we actually call that the technical plague, the technological plague. It's called SIVA, mm -hmm. is what we call this, the okay. fictional name. Okay. So uh, we're going to learn a lot more about that uh, in the game, and we don't want to get too much into the story, but it does have to do with that battle long ago, Yes. and then now uh, you confronting that, that terrible, terrible thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, although there are clues, you know, the, the mm -hmm. world are, always tells its own story. It yes. always has its own way of exposing more details to us. We've seen diamond-shaped doorways like this in Destiny. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the boundaries that kept us separated from, say, Rasputin's lair. Yeah. Right. So it seems as if we're delving into more themes of Golden Age technology and sort of the ghosts from the past. Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, yeah, where uh, uh, Siva was once uh, locked away, this horrible plague that happened, like the Iron Lords sacrificed themselves um, to, uh, to put an end to this and stop it. Um, and all so, but Lord Saladin. All but Lord right. Saladin, yep. And ever since, he has been training the Guardians yep. with his... Uh, since the beta. Since the Destiny beta, yes. Yep. Lord beta. Saladin has been appearing in the tower and uh, pitting guardians against each other yeah. uh, and welcoming them to fight the most dreaded combatants in the world of destiny, it, each it's other. It's really fun to take something, a ritual that's been going on that long and, and poke at it and kind of see, well, why is he doing this? And start asking those questions and digging into that lore and um, just expanding that story. Yeah, the, um, I mean, it's such a great uh, image, like, uh, you know, yeah. Saladin standing in front of this flaming gong, and players have been uh, uh, so invested in this event for, for so long, Certainly, and, like, yeah. all these great weapons and all these, uh, uh, all this bits of lore that they've heard about, and now it's this great sure. opportunity for us to who really delve guy? in and, like, uh, yeah, figure out, uh, let players know who, what's the backstory to this, what yeah. is all this about, bringing some of these elements into a whole PvE campaign and story and a whole release, so... Uh, yeah, here's an example like uh, one of uh, one of the weapons from uh, the original weapons from Iron Banner, uh, Yolder's hammer, um, and uh, yeah, so players will get to find out who who is Yolder. I mean, that's going to be really exciting. Why does he have a heavy gun uh, named after him? Uh, she, she, she. That was good. Uh, yep. Very good. Big okay. reveal. Big, yeah. We're learning exclusive, so much today. Exclusive information. Yep. Yep. So the brothers and sisters from right. uh, the Iron Lords, their memories are kept alive by Lord Saladin, not just in the weapons that he gives us so that we can add to our arsenal, but also in you know, dimly lit halls like this one. Talk to me about this setting and what's happening there. Yeah, so this is a concept piece that uh, shows the, uh, uh, the mausoleum at the top of uh, Fellwinter Peak, where the statues of each of the fallen Iron Lords uh, were uh, erected uh, in, in memory of the, of the great sacrifice that they, uh, um, uh, that they, their sacrifice to save humanity and to lock away um, this horrible plague, and uh, um, you can see also uh, some um, elements here of the, the the sigil, the the wolf sigil mm -hmm. carved into the into the ceiling here. Um, you have the tree uh, that is also been on the on the uh, Iron Lord sigil, the Iron Banner sigil, um, in in uh, in person here. So um, players will get to see a lot of where those elements uh, came from yeah. uh, in this in this spot. And this plays into the. Uh, some cool moments in the end game uh, that we won't talk about yet. Okay. But, uh, we'll, okay. We'll see that eventually. It's really neat though. Like these expansions. That's right. Too fast. <laughs> uh, they they really do let us kind of find an area of the game yeah. that is kind of untapped and and as far as lore and story and and flesh it out. And so that's that's what we really look for these expansions to do. Is, uh, and and we're excited about this one. Yeah, absolutely. Satisfy some of those player curiosities. Absolutely. You know who is. Lord Saladin, why do I have a shotgun named after someone named Fel Winter? Yeah, those are super awesome questions to ask, and then you start unwrapping that, and that's just fun for the team and, and uh, fun, for the, fun for the fans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So let's fast forward to the time and place that uh, the players of our game inhabit, the current Guardians from the Tower. Mm -hmm. And uh, your new story brings us full circle back to the place where every adventure began. Yeah, so... Uh, Time has passed. Things have changed. Uh, here you see Lord Saladin patrolling the uh, patrolling old Russia, where uh, he once uh, had that great battle. Um, you know, he's sort of keeping watch over uh, uh, over the Cosmodrome, sort of hoping uh, hoping the, the horrible that, that horrible stuff that killed all his friends uh, doesn't doesn't return. But Siva remains contained. Yeah. And uh, this is the first time that uh, we've seen our hero from the mm. tower unmasked. So. You know, getting acquainted with that 
enigmatic figure from the tower is going to be a lot of fun for uh, many of our players. Uh, now, I have to ask, he's flanked by his own wolf pack. Right. Do I get to raise my own wolf pack? <laughs> You might, but not in not, uh, not in, in Rise of Iron. Yeah, in life, yeah. deed, yeah. you can you do can, whatever. In you life, want. I can do whatever it's I want. Fine. Yeah, with God. I think it's Destiny, illegal. Lord Saladin yeah. is still more of a badass than I am. Yeah, personally. you tend to find wolves where Saladin is. Okay, uh, that, that tends to be what yeah. we're, what you we're may, discovering. You may see them roaming some of the uh, the social space, for example, or uh, you okay. know, hanging out as a uh, yeah, sort of fun flavor in the. Okay, so he is the talisman of the Iron Lord. Yeah. Can, you so, see, can you see the mountain in the background there? I think if you look very closely... Yeah, through the textures in the snow. In the back there. Okay, so Fell Winter Peak overlooks yes, old Russia. correct. And mm -hmm. uh, he comes down to patrol and make sure that Siva is not contained. But as we discovered in the trailer, Siva is not contained. And our old friends, the Fallen, yeah. have burrowed deep into the Cosmodrome and discovered some of those Golden Age vaults. So yeah, the Fallen are big jerks, as you know, and they uh, dig into all kinds of stuff that uh, uh, they're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. That's sort of their nature. And so, um, yeah, the, the, the Fallen, I think, as you've seen uh, uh, before, sort of are uh, infatuated with technology um, and uh, sort of old machinery and stuff like that. You've got the, you know, the servitors and the shanks and sort of get hints of that yeah. uh, uh, in the game currently. But uh, this is taking it to a whole new level. Uh, they've ra raised their jerk quotient uh, up a whole notch and have uh, sort of unearthed this technological plague and used it to transform themselves and sort of mutated yeah. their bodies and they're sort of walking uh, uh jerks yeah work on the walking so they're uh, not afflicted they're tech embracing jerks. this yeah. Yeah. They're, they're they're augmenting oh, themselves absolutely. with this, this is, technology yes. yep. purposefully yep they're trying to turn themselves basically into machine gods and take over take over earth um which sounds like a pretty jerk if you hang out with chris you hear the words machine gods more than when you hang out with other people <laughs> <laughs> that's just something if people are curious about development it sounds cool it yeah it does well, sound cool that's why we let you create these experiences these, for us chris the yep. experience is about Machine gods. Machine gods. That's well, right. mm -hmm. Lord Saladin is having none of this machine god business, <laughs> so uh, he essentially issues a call to all of the Guardians mm -hmm. to rally to the banner of the Iron Lords mm -hmm. and yeah. to confront this new threat. Absolutely. He's so cool he doesn't use a flashlight. Yeah, he has a torch. He, he, he's, he's, yeah, he's, 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 yep. old he's, yeah, he's old school. He's old school. He doesn't yeah. shave. Yep. Just like... Yep. You too, I guess you're. This is you're doing I, this know, on purpose. I, I'm this is like, yes. This is completely this is on, on purpose. purpose. Yeah, I, I manicured it just for the reveal screen. Just today, I like to look nice for our players. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, the studio will adhere to a grooming standard. <laughs> but this is this is uh, yeah, becoming an Iron Lord's part of part of the game. So. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's that's the coolest part of this. Players will get to join this adventure with Saladin yeah. uh, and take his side, and then eventually become an Iron Lord themselves, which yeah. is the, 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 I think the core fantasy. That so this, really is, uh, this image here is from the trailer, and this is at the bottom of the peak. Right. So they're, they're ascending. Yeah. It's the beginning of your journey. Yeah, Quite yeah. literally following in the footsteps of yeah. the Iron Lords. And uh, as you were telling me, you know, your journey begins with returning to Felwinter Peak and yeah. reclaiming it. And, and I'd love to just take a second. The world art team on this game has been absolutely incredible, and this is... Mm -hmm. Just a, 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 every time I look at this, I'm, I'm blown away. So that's really awesome. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So you basically ascend, uh, ascend this mountaintop to and uh, take it back, uh, you know, drive out the fallen, uh, and uh, uh, take it over so the so that Saladin um, and a few other new characters that players will uh, uh, be introduced to get to um, take this over, and it becomes the social space and the hub of Rise of Iron. We got so, really excited about that idea, like taking mm -hmm. over the social space and having yeah. it be a place you fight and capture, and then. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah. Look at the look at how different it is. So it's, it's yeah, it's cool. definitely it's it's a different mood than you know the the tower is a very polished, regal place. You know mm -hmm. the reef is uh, you know extremely industrial. Mm -hmm. You know it's got all that utilitarian space space faring industry. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very rustic. You know, sort of the mountaintop retreat. It looks like it's fallen into disarray. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Over you it's know very central. remote. You feel like you're it, people are just starting to kind of come back into it, mm -hmm. and that's a cool feeling. And uh, we saw a concept of this, but here is an in-game view of the Iron Temple. Uh, mm -hmm. You've alluded to the fact that you know, we get to pay homage to these Iron Lords who are immortalized in statues now, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. that uh, we get to uh, claim rewards from them, we get to, yep. you know, and I guess we'll- Honor their memories, them. like, yeah, learn about, more about the lore of each of these, uh, each of these uh, fallen heroes. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll talk about more, uh, more of that later, I'm sure. More later, yes. <laughs> Yes, well, the theme of this is Welcome to Rise of Iron, and the sub-theme of this is we'll be talking about this all summer. So this is one of the things that uh, we look forward to you learning more about. And uh, in honoring their 
uh, legacy and you know sort of honoring their memory, uh, we will venture into the plague lands. Uh, this was one of the first concepts I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, this is pretty wicked, I think. <laughs> you know, it really captures my imagination, makes me want to go there, makes me want to fight them. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what we'll find in this new setting. Yeah, so this is uh, deep into the into the plague lands. Uh, snow has taken over. It's this harsh, harsh wintry environment. Uh, the fallen have just gone uh, gone crazy and like started erecting all these uh, you know crazy contraptions and uh, um, you know these these horrible fortresses um, uh, using using Siva um, to to build this stuff. Um, so yeah, this is uh, going to be um, you know a whole new zone. Like I mentioned before, there'll be. Uh, uh, pretty large space with uh, all kinds of stuff to explore, different different settings. Um, but uh, there'll be new patrols here, new public events, new new stuff to find. Um, yeah, a new so landing zone. Yeah, new landing, new landing zone. zone. Absolutely. Um, this is the first time we've taken an existing destination and then given players a new place to put boots on the ground in that space and explore along a different vector. So yeah. you're not going to be landing where you've always landed on Earth. We're actually giving you a new place to touch down and, and begin your adventure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. And as we venture deeper into the plague lands, we're going to encounter baddies like this guy. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy, I think even Skolos would say, check that out. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this is the, the result of SIVA augmentation? Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're, you're going to be fighting them in new and exciting ways. They have some new abilities and some new things to do, and mm -hmm. that's going to come as a result of this uh, augmentation that, these, that they've gone under. Um, and every Fallen House does have, have splicers, because augmentation is like a big part of their background. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. yeah and they're more dangerous than ever. And uh, I know how to fight the Fallen. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I know what tactics they knew, use. I, you know, I know where their soft targets are. Uh, do I know everything about fighting the Fallen Devil Splicers? <laughs> they have some new tricks up their sleeve, yeah, for some, sure. Yeah, they've uh, modified their weapons. They've modified some of their abilities and uh, using this uh, new SIBA new SIVA mutation, so... Modify their physicality. I mean, what's yeah. this guy got yeah. on the end of his arm? That's, that's pretty nasty. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you've got a... Uh, um, also, you saw uh, earlier the, uh, the dregs have little peg legs. How right. creepy is that, right? right? <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they already had uh, two, of their, two of their limbs cut off. Now they've gone further and uh, are, you know, turning themselves into little uh, weird little uh, machine yeah. uh, mutants. More machine now than fallen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and uh, what's this? Talk to me about what this is. That looks cool. Yeah, so that tell me what it is. What is that? That is a Death Zamboni. Death I think Zamboni. That's what it is. All right, all right. Um, no, 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 no. No, that's no, not no, the official no. name. That's not the official name. Well, it is now. It is now. <laughs> Death but, Zamboni. Uh, maybe when we uh, actually get to confront this, uh, we'll, we'll learn what the actual name is. But uh, is so that, you're not going to tell me what this is? I don't. That doesn't seem like a good use of time. Is that the raid team knocking at the door? Yeah, to get, to get us? Bar the door, bar the door. <laughs> pile up the furniture in front of the door. Hold Move door. away from this slide. Hold so this is Destiny. Uh, this is a Destiny game. And uh, when I play a Destiny game, uh, I get new stuff that makes me more awesome. Check out this stuff. This looks pretty awesome. Talk to me about what you're doing to my character or what I get to do with my character if I am brave. Yeah, uh, awesome new gear. The, the, the character team and the concept team have put together some awesome new looks for, for players to chase after. Um, obviously, with this being uh, uh, themed around the Iron Lords, uh, we've got a uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, Viking warrior almost theme. Uh, you've yeah. got fur collars and horns and, um, you know, you've got that look for the, for the Iron Lords uh, theme. You've got some, uh, a theme that's uh, based off of the uh, sort of SIVA um, technology, um, the war mind style uh, sure, armor, as sure. you can kind of see in the middle. We claim things from our enemies and wear them as trophies <laughs> yes. if we yeah, can yeah, accomplish yeah. the hardest things in Destiny. Yep. Uh, we turn, I love the fact that in Destiny we turn the characters of our game into heraldic knights yeah. more than soldiers. I've always mm -hmm. loved that regal quality about uh, you know, what the players become in this game. I think it's also part of uh, showing off what it is you accomplished in the game. If you go and complete, you know, Trials of Osiris or, you know, a, a raid and like you're, you're wearing the trophy of that and players can see um, that accomplishment. So yes. that's, that's, that's uh, super important. Speaking of Trials of Osiris, so when I um, acquire new gear, when I acquire new weapons, obviously that stuff makes me more powerful. I yeah. upgrade that stuff. That's all part of the, uh, you know, the player fantasy you know, the act of becoming a legend, as we are so fond of saying when we talk about Destiny. But um, talk to me about... The Cat Pauldron, I think. The is what? The Cat Pauldron? The, the cat, yes, the Cat <laughs> Pauldron. Um, but uh, 
when uh, we were talking about the April update, you know, people were really excited to learn that uh, their maximum light mm -hmm. would increase. Yeah. Are we doing that again? We are, yes, of course. Okay, so uh, do you want to tell me the new number? Uh, we're actually still, you know, we're, we, yeah, we're not di yeah, dialing it in, I like that phrase. Dialing it in, but also, okay. yeah, yeah, we want to talk about more things later in the summer, but we can, we are definitely raising the, the light level. A significant, so, a significant light, light, increase. light increase. A significant light increase. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and hashtag significant light increase. Help yourselves. <laughs> uh, so we'll uh, discuss at great length at a later date once yeah. we've had a chance to, uh, you know, make all of our decisions and lock them in. Um, exactly what the player progression and the investment systems and how all of that work will, how all that will work. But this is the act of becoming a more powerful legend yep. in Rise of Iron. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And acquiring new weapons and gear, as I understand it, is not the only way in which we will become more powerful. Uh, this double-headed battle axe <laughs> bathed in flame. Talk to me about this. Th Thing. Not a hammer, by the way. There was a little confusion for a little bit about the. It's a little the, sharper than a hammer. It is sharper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is uh, this is the uh, this is a relic. Um, that okay. is what we kind of refer to these uh, uh, in game. So this is uh, going to be very. Uh, players will acquire it similar to how they did the scorch cannon, for example, okay. or the uh, the vex shield. Yes. So this is something. This is a, a a temporary boost of power. They'll find this out in the world. They'll find this in a particular mission, yeah. um, and they'll be able to pick it up and become an ultimate badass with a flaming war axe for some number of minutes until they destroy everything in sight and uh, um, have, have used it up. So um, I think it's uh, pretty cool. I think Destiny is officially the only game where you can be a space robot wearing a Viking helmet and uh, wielding a flaming battle axe. I think that's a, yeah. that's a first. Yeah, yeah. We were, uh, well, you know, we, uh, we might have had a few rumors swirling around uh, this game and uh, uh, yesterday Irk really? and I were reading some we were helping ourselves to some of the neo gaff uh -huh. as we as we like to and uh, there was somebody saying something to the effect of why is there a future science fiction soldier wearing magical armor holding uh, a flaming axe and the basically the because reply to that was it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, because why, destiny. Why because would, that's the most destiny thing that we could imagine. Want that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. All right. So uh, this this uh, this relic, this battle axe, is an encounter-specific weapon mm -hmm. for an interesting moment in the game. Promise me that we will delve deep into oh, this yeah. later on this summer. We'll show it in action, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. we will show that in action, and uh, we'll explain exactly how that fits into the player experience. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm. something you can add to your arsenal. If you joined the stream late, <laughs> and if you don't know yet, it is my profound pleasure to tell you that a rocket launcher called the Gallerhorn is coming back. Uh, one of the most iconic weapons, mm -hmm. uh, one of the most debated pronunciations. <laughs> I think we got it now. In, in yeah. our game, yeah. uh, I'm sure anybody from Europe would tell us that we're a bunch of fools. But G a lot of times, Gallerhorn. I've always told people that it's the Gudge Yallerhorn because right. the J is makes a Y sound. Sure. Uh, none of these things are accurate, but J the Gallerhorn. Jelly, if if the Gallerhorn, as the fans call it, is back in black. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you pre-order. Iron Black. Iron Black. But, but all Guardians black. can can acquire the Galahorn if they complete a, a quest in the in the game. So uh, if you are a player of Rise of Iron, the Galahorn is back, and it is a reward for completing a quest. Yes. Mm -hmm. So not uh, just I'm, any quest. Yeah. You get to forge a new Galahorn from hey, the It's early. No, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Fine. From the checking each other now. From, from the right armor right. of uh, fallen heroes. So this is uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. I think players are going to uh, really yeah. enjoy the, enjoy the quest to. So to the new message is if you want it, a yeah. Gallerhorn, Build make it. your yeah. own. <laughs> yeah. Make your own. Don't wait yep. for it to drop. Yeah, yeah. Don't beg me personally on Twitter to tell Zer to sell it as if I have that authority. I've done that. Go make you. Didn't you make that get, happen for yeah, me. no, I did not make that. No, I can, no, they don't give me the controls to any of those things because they know that I'm way too eager to please. So if you want a Gallerhorn, Guardians. Prepare to make your own mm -hmm. this September 20th yeah. when Rise of Iron launches. We've actually created a, a something fun. This is sort of a love letter to the, one of the most iconic weapons in the Destiny arsenal, as well as the effect that it has had on our beloved community. Uh, let's go ahead and roll tape and show them the Gallerhorn. Gallerhorn! I just saw Gallerhorn pop up! Oh my god! I've got a get on! Yes! God, it happened! <laughs> <laughs> Pre 
pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gjallarhorn. Nice. The power, the fury, the wolves again. The wolves. More wolves. More wolves again. <laughs> I used to know how I can't. I wish I, had, I told you I was going to do this. I can't remember. I used to know how many wolves were on that. Well, when we revealed the Gallarhorn, we basically yeah. told people that it had the highest WPG yes, rating yes, of yes. the entire arsenal. Mm -hmm. and that's most that wolves per gun. Yes, of course. So if you want a gun with a whole bunch of wolves on it, go ahead and make it. If you want it in black, pre-order Rise of Iron and. Uh, you're going to get yourself one, and you're going to get yourself a whole lot more. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for uh, welcoming us into your process and talking to us about the things you think about when you create these experiences for us. Yeah, absolutely. So excited to, to be able to show this off and uh, more excited for players to be able to, to jump into this new world that we've created. I think yeah. it's uh, going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be there with them. So. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. And uh, E3? Yeah, sure. Do you want to go? What's the next stop on, on our adventure in talking about Rise of Iron? E3? Yeah, I think that's right. We're both headed okay. to E3. Yeah, you want to go? I will, I will go with you to E3. Okay, uh, we are going to be uh, in Los Angeles with uh, everyone in this wonderful industry, this wonderful world of making games. And uh, we're going to be uh, talking to our friends in the media. We may be appearing on a number of different live streams. So keep an eye on uh, the other people who are going to E3 and what they're saying about the world. And you may just catch a glimpse of us... Uh, Letting slip a few more details <laughs> about Rise of Too Iron. Soon. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's been a pleasure to have you guys on the couch today. It's Thanks, been a pleasure Deej. to have all of you in chat. Uh, once again, uh, I'm Deej. It has been my pleasure to host this official reveal stream and our official sources, uh, game director Christopher Barrett. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for being here and executive producer Scott Taylor. I'm glad I could make this happen for you. Uh, you. You did. You made this happen. You complete me, Scott. Yeah, that's good. You complete me. And, Happy birthday, uh, Dad, by the way. Oh, I well, you're, to say that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, well, and that's, you know, a, a member of our community. He is. Yeah. He's, he's, father plays, yeah, he's, he's probably, probably he's doing his, a whole stream about He's doing that. his bounties. He's completing his bounties yeah, yeah. right now, I bet. <laughs> yeah, he's not yeah. watching the reveals. Yeah, he's probably not. Yeah. Everything yeah, so. he needs to know about Destiny. Yep. Well, never stop playing games, everybody. And we're going to be talking more about the Rise of Iron, all summer long. So please stay tuned to us wherever you pay attention to us. Thank you for playing. We'll see you in the tower, and maybe, just maybe, on a long enough timeline, we'll see you high atop Fellwinter Peak. Thanks for watching. See you soon. We thought we were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. We thought we had sealed away the plague for eternity. But now, it has returned, and this time, with a fallen army. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. Prove yourself worthy, and the Iron Lords will rise again. Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gallarhorn.